I know that this is the moment that you all have been waiting for to see the winners of uh, the half moon contest actually is scratch and moon contest but uh, it doesn't matter you all did an amazing job and I was really surprised to see such different styles in approaching uh, my idea. So before we continue with the uh, 30 random choices and then with the top 10 I am going to start this video with the next contest for this month. So this month uh, contest is how to create a cyborg and you have the freedom to choose any face or any person that you want and to transform it into a cyborg by following my tutorial and how to create that crack or that shape on a person face or parts of the body if you want. After I finished with my design I decided that this doll face needs some changes so I transform her into a cyborg and now let me show you how to do it. First you create a new layer, take the lasso tool and we are going to select a portion of her face. And then I'm going to fill this selection with a color, in my case I'm going to keep the black color. After you created the shape double click on the layer. then click on bevel and emboss. Here in my case with my document sizes that I use I used those settings. So the style is inner bevel, the technique is smooth, the depth is 272, the direction is up, size is 4, the angle is minus 158, the altitude is 42 and here on the highlight mode I try to use the colors of her skin. So here on the highlight mode I sampled a color from her face color and here on the shadow mode I use multiply and I also selected a color that it's close to her face color. Then let's go to inner shadow. Now you don't see anything yet because we don't have any elements added inside of the uh, that shape but for now I'm going to use those settings you can copy if you want or you can change them later the last one is drop shadow nothing uh, extraordinary just a distance of 2 and size of 1 and the opacity you can play around but don't forget the blending mode should be multiplied now I'm going to create a new group so create a new group and let's call this one cyborg after that I'm going to add a mask but an inverted one so hold alt and click on the mask icon and you will see a black thumbnail which is an inverted uh, mask and this is what we need then let's uh, hold ctrl click on the shape layer and you'll see that uh, it is selected and now if you select the thumbnail of the group just press delete hold alt on the effects that you see on the shape layer so here on the effects hold alt and drag the effects on your group or you can right click on the effects and you can copy layer style and then if you right click on the group you can paste layer style and it will do the same thing. Now we can deselect this shape layer and I'm going to add a picture inside this group that we just created. I have this picture with an engine and I'm going to drag it inside my group and now if I move this picture it will move inside that shape that we just created. So I can you know shrink it and place it wherever I want and I feel that it looks okay. From now on it's just your imagination. You can place any image that you want and you feel that it matches your artwork. And what uh, I did next on my design was to change the colors and add some shadows. So I darken up this image, I added a uh, level, clip it inside by clicking on this little icon, dragging the white values to the left, right, and then on top of this one I created a new layer and I set it to multiply. And then with a brush tool and a gray dark color I painted inside on top of this image with the engine. And I added a shadow and now it looks like the engine it's inside the head of my cyborg. And of course you can change the colors. In my case I usually change the colors by using selective color and using the color blending mode. And then hold alt and click between the layers and you'll add this selective color to affect only the engine. Then on the colors I'm going to change the neutrals and I'm going to adapt the colors to my design. In my case I will have some magenta tones. And if you have person like uh, I have with uh, hair, with a lot of hair on her face, you have to take care of those things that you can see here because the hair should be on top of this uh, shape. After you finish with the inside of the cyborg, you go on top, you create a new layer, 
it should be on top of the cyborg group and here I'm going to rename this hair. Then with the brush tool I'm going to select a hairbrush and I'm going to paint some hair. I have a full tutorial on how to paint hair using a mouse or a tablet. You can watch that uh, video, I think you'll find it really useful. Don't forget that at any time you can modify this shape so you can take the brush tool and uh, with a really small size like 3 or 4 and a hard brush for example and if you play around with the black and white colors you can modify the shape. For example if I use the white color it will expand that shape so for example here I can go more inside that uh, face of that person of that cyborg and if I don't like it I can change to the black color and if I paint with the black color it will add that uh, skin again. To improve the quality and the speed of my workflow I have used some assets that I have been told you about many times in my videos that are from the magic uh, bundle from Neostock. For example this uh, magic trail is from uh, Neostock from that uh, magic bundle and also this one saved me a lot of drawing time. Eventually I had to put my own uh, fingerprint on it and I have uh, manually drew this magic that uh, you can learn from uh, following uh, this uh, video with the little girl and I have also uh, use some flares from uh, the ultimate uh, light uh, fx uh, from also neostock uh, bundle you can check out the links in my video description but from now let's move on with the contest rules for this month if you find any quality in my videos please subscribe to this channel it will help me a lot to continue this photoshop journey those are the rules of the fifth edition of my do it better photoshop contest create a cyborg you should follow the technique that i use in this video to create a cyborg face and you can use any image that you you want the purpose is to create a cyborg who should be the most important piece of your artwork please have in mind that you should also post a before picture with all the assets that you used in creating the design the entries that don't have a before picture posted also when you post your main design on instagram or send it by email cannot enter the top 10 you can send me your finished artworks by email which is mr 20t designer at gmail.com and also if you post your art on instagram tag me mr 20t design and also use the hashtag hashtag Mr23Cyborg because it's the end of the year and everybody will celebrate Christmas and the New Year's Eve. The deadline for this contest is the last day of the year, December 31 and then in the first week of January next year I will let you know the winners and I will also show you the new contest. Before moving on with the previous contest I would like to thank everybody from my heart for participating in my last contest. I had over 300 designs to choose from and unfortunately some of your work won't be chosen but you all did a tremendous work don't give up the purpose of my contest is to raise your level by having so different types of contests every month you will learn so many things by challenging yourself i was blown away by the diversity of styles and approaches you guys have a lot of imagination and i am doing my best to show your work to my viewers so let's make this short and present you the first 30 random designs and then we'll continue with the top 10 
On the 10th place we have this amazing samurai moon design by Veto Create. He created uh, that uh, sword of the samurai by uh, cutting a part of the moon which was really original so congrats Veto for the 10th place. On the 9th place we have this design by Pixelvec96 and I love the idea overall. As a suggestion I think he could work more on the moon part but overall I really love the idea of uh, this uh, artwork. On the 8th place we have this moon mining by DGR Visuals and uh, it's a really original idea and he cut some parts of uh, that moon and uh, it's uh, like a magical train that travels to the moon and it collects uh, moon rocks. So so I really love the idea and uh, how he created the design. So congrats DGR Visuals for the 8th place. On the 7th place we have this design by Raym Josh, uh, this futuristic cyborg design and I must say that uh, looking at uh, the asset that he used in creating this design I started to love it uh, more and more. So congrats Josh for the 7th place. On the 6th place we have this design by David Adu and it's a really interesting uh, artwork. It looks like a scene from uh, Star Wars and uh, I really love the color tones that he used and also the glows. Congrats uh, David for the 6th place. On the 5th place we have this uh, fairy tale design by Vision PSD and I must say that uh, I really love uh, the colors that he used and uh, the overall positive tones that he has in this design. So congrats uh, Vision PSD for the 5th place. I must say that uh, starting from uh, the 4th place it was really hard to choose a winner but I had to. I must say that I really love all those uh, 4 designs that we still have left in uh, this contest and uh, this design by Carte Blanche. I love it it might be too dark for some of you but uh, looking at the photos that he used in creating this design i must say that carte blanche is a really talented designer so uh, congrats for the fourth place carte blanche you know Adam, he's the winner of the previous uh, Do It Better contest and um, he didn't disappoint it uh, us also this time, he created a really original design and I must congratulate him for the hard work, uh, there were a lot of uh, assets we used, so uh, thank you again Adam for creating this uh, amazing piece of art. We have Kevin a making on the second place but he could have won easily the first place, it was really really difficult for me to choose the winner of this contest, I really loved the uh, uh, is designed it's like a phase runner design i must say that uh, kevin impressed me a lot so uh, some of you may uh, see him as a winner as i said it was really hard to choose a winner but i had to make a decision at some point so anyway congrats kevin you did an amazing job i love all the details that you use in creating this underwater scene so thank you again and i cannot wait to see more of your work in my next uh, contest so the first place goes to pixel origin with this original and unique design uh, it really impressed me from the day one when I got his email and uh, I love the technique that he used here in creating uh, the paintly look I'm sure that he did the hair part also and the overall colors I really love everything as I said uh, maybe some of you might see a different winner of this contest but for me this uh, design by Pixel Arigi is the winner of my fourth edition of the do it better contest this was a blast so many different designers from all around the globe gathered together to show us their skills and imagination and I'm really grateful for this amazing community. Can't wait to see your entries for the next contest.